Hello, and welcome back to Statcentric. Today, we're delving into the captivating world of the top 10 billionaires. Let's begin our exciting adventure. Steve Ballmer, the energetic former CEO of Microsoft, led the company from 2000 to 2014. Joining as Microsoft's 30th employee in 1980, after leaving Stanford's MBA program, Ballmer navigated the dot-com crash, tackled competition from Google and Apple, and later acquired the LA Clippers for $2 billion upon retiring. His philanthropic efforts have surged since 2014, contributing over $2 billion to economic mobility causes. In 2022, Balmer and his wife donated $425 million to the University of Oregon, aiming to address children's behavioral and mental health needs. His journey is a testament to his dynamic leadership and commitment to innovation and social impact. Mukesh Ambani leads Reliance Industries, a $104 billion revenue conglomerate engaged in diverse sectors like petrochemicals, oil, telecom, and retail. Founded in 1966 by his father, Dhirubhai Ambani, Reliance entered the telecom arena in 2016 with Geo, sparking a competitive landscape. Ambani is now focusing on green energy, investing $80 billion over the next 10 to 15 years. His succession plan involves his children taking on key roles within the company. Carlos Slim Helu, Mexico's richest person, and his family control America Movil the largest mobile telecom firm in Latin America. They acquired a stake in Telmex in 1990, which now forms part of America Movil. Slim also holds interests in Mexican construction, consumer goods, mining, and real estate, and previously owned a stake in the New York Times. His eclectic art collection is showcased in the Sumaya Museum in Mexico City, designed by his son-in-law. Additionally, the family owns a substantial 79% of Grupo Carso, a major conglomerate in the region. Michael Bloomberg co-founded Bloomberg LP in 1981, now owning 88% of the company, with revenues exceeding $12 billion. He began on Wall Street in 1966, later becoming the mayor of New York City for 12 years. A significant philanthropist, he has donated over $12.7 billion to causes like gun control and climate change. Bloomberg briefly ran for president in 2019, directing substantial funds towards opposing Donald Trump's candidacy in 2020. Bill Gates, Microsoft co-founder, diversified his fortune into various investments, including clean energy. His 27-year marriage to Melinda ended in May 2021, yet they remain co-chairs of the Gates Foundation. He transferred $6 billion in shares as part of the divorce. With a 1.3% stake in Microsoft after stepping down in 2020, Gates invested in companies like Republic Services and Deer and company his philanthropy, totaling over $59 billion, includes a recent $20 billion gift to the Gates Foundation. Early donations were primarily Microsoft stock. Warren Buffett, the famed Oracle of Omaha, is a highly successful investor who leads Berkshire Hathaway. His portfolio includes diverse companies like Geico, Duracell, and Dairy Queen. Beginning his investment journey at a young age, Buffett is deeply committed to philanthropy, having donated over $51 billion mainly to the Gates Foundation and his children's initiatives. He co-launched the Giving Pledge with Bill Gates in 2010, encouraging fellow billionaires to allocate at least half their wealth to charitable endeavors. Larry Ellison, a co-founder of Oracle, holds the positions of chairman and chief technology officer with about 35% ownership. After 37 years as CEO, he stepped down in 2014. Under his guidance, Oracle expanded through significant acquisitions, including the $28.3 billion Cerner deal in 2021. Ellison's personal ventures include owning most of Hawaii's Lanai Island and a substantial stake in Tesla where he was a board member until 2022. Jeff Bezos, Amazon's founder, transitioned to executive chairman in 2021 and retains about 10% ownership. After divorcing his wife Mackenzie in 2019, a quarter of his then 16% Amazon stake was transferred to her. 
In 2022, Bezos donated over $400 million worth of stock to undisclosed nonprofits. He also owns The Washington Post and Blue Origin, a space venture. Bezos, committed to philanthropy, aims to give away most of his wealth during his lifetime, as stated in a November 2022 CNN interview. Elon Musk, co-founder of Tesla, SpaceX, and Boring Company, holds significant influence across diverse industries. With about 23% ownership in Tesla, he's pledged over half his shares as loan collateral. SpaceX's valuation soared to $127 billion within three years, and Boring Company, focused on traffic solutions, secured $675 million at a $5.7 billion valuation. Musk successfully acquired Twitter for $44 billion in 2022, now owning approximately 74% after legal disputes. Bernard Arnault leads the expansive LVMH empire, housing renowned brands like Louis Vuitton and Sephora. LVMH's record-breaking $15.8 billion acquisition of Tiffany & Company marked a milestone in luxury brand takeovers. Arnault's influence extends to Agle Ventures, a venture capital firm investing in prominent companies, including Netflix and ByteDance. He initiated his journey by using $15 million from his father's construction business to acquire Christian Dior in 1984. All five of Arnaud's children contribute to LVMH, as reflected in his proposal for equal stakes reorganization in his holding company, Agache, in July 2022. And there you have it, folks. A fascinating glimpse into the lives and achievements of the world's top 10 billionaires. From tech titans who shaped industries to visionary philanthropists making a positive impact, their stories remind us that with determination, innovation, and a desire to create change, anything is possible. As we conclude this journey through their remarkable journeys, let their successes inspire you to reach for your own dreams, to innovate, and to make a meaningful difference in the world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe Stats-centric for more captivating content. Until next time, keep pushing the boundaries and aiming for greatness.